at this point in history, developing nations and traditional powers alike are placing a huge emphasis on research and development. Uh, the companies that are competitors in this space are the companies that track all that information and record it for posterity. So there's huge opportunities for them increasingly. Our report uh, is an essential tool for executives, sales teams, uh, market analysts, M&A uh, folks, people who are looking to find out what the trends in this market, which direction it's headed, and what products are going to be most important going forward. In 2012, the global scientific and technical publishing industry was pretty much flat. It grew 0.2%. Um, the industry has been affected by the, the global recession and turned down. It's also had difficulties with books declining. Even though ebooks have been a hot area, they make a small percentage of the market and aren't driving things as a whole. Some emerging markets have been successful, Asia Pacific, uh, Brazil, but overall the uh, North American market and, and Europe are having difficulties and that has you know, kept the rate down. This report covers 15 of the leading publishers and what we do is we're able to delve down into revenue and eliminate the businesses that are adjacent markets that don't really meet a strict definition of scientific publishing. So what you get when you get the report is a true ranking of who the industry leaders are and how they compete against each other and what their market share is in specifically in science and technical publishing. The future of scientific and technical publishing is going to be dynamic content. Um, when the market went through the transition from print to digital products, originally uh, electronic products were based on the print products and eventually that evolved into products that were suited for being distributed electronically and now there's a whole new level of, of product that's being developed in the future of what the companies are going to come out with is looking towards things that will be used in mobile devices and tablets and the key here is it's going to be interna interactive, analytical, and responsive to the different experiences that uh, researchers need. For publishers, capturing growth in emerging markets is, is continuing to be a key strategy. So publishers are looking at Asia Pacific and parts of South America and the Middle East. Even though English is dominant language in scientific publishing, uh, the ability to come out with new content in the local languages is something publishers are increasingly doing. For more than three decades, Simba Information has published detailed market intelligence studies for the media and publishing industries with a specific emphasis on the education and professional publishing sectors. Each Simba report is constructed from the ground up with primary and secondary research, including in-depth interviews with executives, key equity analysts, librarians, distributors, and school administrators. Simba's analysts have extensive experience in the industries they cover, and their reports provide the essential market data with meaningful segmentations and forecasts, key competitive intelligence, and insights into the trends shaping the market's future.